It's your boy Kerbers and welcome to my Benfica Carremo Dea. This is the first video, but uh, it's not the very first game. Uh, I did some streaming uh, last weekend. Did not see it go check out on Twitch. But yeah, here we are. Uh, it's only the fourth game. Didn't get a lot done because of the transfer window. And I have decided that all deadline days will be will be off camera events from now on because they just take up too much time. And uh, deadline day does take up too much time. It's almost like a real deadline day. It, just, it almost seems like it goes on forever. And, you know, I cannot have that. So, uh, yeah, if you did not see the stream, I have signed several players. I have brought back Javi Garcia uh, from Manchester City. I brought in Christian Tello on loan from Barcelona. I bought uh, Insignia from Napoli. A very good buy. Um, if you are playing a career mode with a team that does not have very much money and um, you can uh, you can you need an attacking player or a, a center, attacking mid or a striker. Uh, Insignia would be. A player I'd recommend to you guys. Uh, he is absolutely amazing. He scored uh, in all of the games so far, and he is top goal scorer. Um, I'm playing him at Cam right behind uh, Lima and Rodrigo. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I signed Tell because I thought Silvio, uh, the right mid, uh, was going to leave. There was interest the uh the game told me that there was interest from uh from Spanish side Valencia and I thought okay if they offer me a decent offer I might consider it uh and I looked at I brought Tello in you know to uh cover him because I thought you know they were going to make an offer him He'd be gone, but no offer came in, so he's still here. He's just on the bench, but now I'm playing Tello. And I've also signed Alberto Marino. Uh, I need a left back. I needed a left back, and I thought, why not try out this player who are who is linked with Liverpool in real life? Just see how he is. And that uh, he almost scored there, but Rodrigo is going to steal that goal from him. The, uh, and after he did all the work, get a goal quite like this one. Uh, it almost so fell to Insignia, yeah, but the just then it is Rodrigo's goal, well. and it well, is a bit it. of a piss well, take <laughs> if you are um, Moreno. So, uh, the just again, it's looking like. I don't know where uh, his well, the teammates making a run into space. Sevilla's president has he has revealed the in, that the interest from Liverpool is in fact real, and I think Liverpool may have bid. I'm not too sure. There's rumors online they they may have bid, but it, it doesn't seem like they have in real life. If that makes any sense whatsoever, which Probably doesn't, but I guess the beauty of real life, isn't it? Um, That's offside. Speaking of signings potentially for Liverpool, uh, they've agreed a deal to sign Emir Khan, as uh, as you guys know, I've made a video on it as well as the season six league goals he's got. Impressive, eh? Has been impressive. Some of the chances haven't been easy at all. He's kind with a mill. So Ricky Lambert, uh, who scored for England during the week. In their two all draw with, was it Colombia? He's got some skill this time. No, it was somebody else, wasn't it? That's a really was it? Was it they would have been in. Great 
movement off the ball. And that Liverpool youngster Raheem Sterling was sent off in that match for a tackle on Manchester United's Antonio Valencia of all freaking players. And I think Valencia was actually sent off as well, so you know, you reap what you sow. Not long to go to half time. Benfica lead in the great opportunity. Got to bend his run, I think, because that one was an easy decision for the assistant on the far side. for the crowd and uh, they need to raise the games because uh, collectively it's been poor Rodrigo First shot. oh god damn it you freaking moron when I told you to hit back I was hoping you'd set up a bright mind and he's done that this play up for a power drive from Insignia, but no, you gave it to the fucking opponent. And how stupid are you, Lima? God damn it. Oh. He blocked it. Ooh, blocked it with his ass. Painful, painful, painful. It's a heading chance now. Well, that's straight at the goalkeeper. Easy for him to hang on. That's half time. Signal by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. I guess, Alan, we're getting what we expected to this point. Yeah, and quite often you do get a shock in these circumstances, but you've got to hand it to the favourites. They... Challenged quickly by the opposition. from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's the second goal for Porto. 52 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Chance for him, got to be. And there it is, the goal. Absolutely fantastic play from a fantastic team. And wow, that's a goal that really rubber stamps all their credentials. Well, it's been men against boys out there, Martin, hasn't it? Such a professional performance. Now it's 2 0. Referee's given a corner. He shoots. He's tapped away the chance, Alan. Yeah, and I think he's still acclimatising, you know, to his to his new surroundings, but if he can tuck away chances like that, he's going to settle very quickly. Very good build-up, Alan. Very good goal. Well, defensively, you could pick holes in it, but the way he attacked it, what a clinical finish. That's a good lead. Three goals to nil. Be a judged offside here. Close, but uh, got to get the movement timed a little bit better. <laughs> Abby Garcia, a goal today. Early in his, this is the chance, and he's going to shoot. Pushed back into play by the goalkeeper. This will be a goal kick. Gara. 
Sky. And that will be handball. Javi Garcia. Insignia. And now can he score? And it leads to this shot. Struck it on the volley. Still in play here. Cross coming in now. Tried to steer it in with the volley. It's hit very well and the goalkeeper was strong. Keep an eye on the visiting team today because they're going for a fourth consecutive victory. And they've defended well during that period, and I think they'll have to do that here, away from their own ground. Insignia. Two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Promising play. Here's the shot. Good reflexes by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort. There'll be a signal here at the corner. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. And here's the header. An excellent try from an excellent player. But his team still leading with a cross. Almost demanded knocking it in the net, but he's put it over the top. Well, that was all he had to do. If he had kept it down, it was a certain goal. It's been a very good workout for Benfica, who were pushed by the opponents in both halves, but they couldn't interrupt the flow of Benfica's football, which was of a fine quality and deserving of the result. That was an easy decision for the assistant. It's offside. He's gone too early. It's been a very strong performance from the winning team. And I must say, they've uh, thoroughly deserved this position as we come towards the... Dives away the keeper to keep it out. Looking to take the corner quickly. Goalkeeper rising to the occasion, literally. It's a long way out, and sometimes they can catch keepers by surprise, but he was on his toes. Here's the shot. Got the block in. In a goal. And that tackle has got in the ball. Says that Pesato. Rodrigo. You can understand his eagerness to try and get in. They're holding a high line, but he's offside. It's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. It's a good place to win the ball here. Insignia. Brilliant opening. And here's a shot now, and he's put it away. You don't often in games get the opportunity like this, Alan. I'm sure you remember from your own playing days when you're so far ahead and you can actually just uh, relax and, and try and win by even more, and they've scored again. Yeah, a bit of a free fall, and uh, I think even the defenders Thank now will be trying to get upfield and get themselves on the score sheet. The other team have been put out of their misery here because the, uh, they were very much game. Off. I got through one off.
Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. Today it's Benfica against FC Schalke. And your commentary team of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, here we are, Alan, off and running. We love this competition, the Champions Cup. It's the group stage, match day one. Yeah, the start of what can be a fantastic journey. If you put Names. it together, if you do everything right, that I can remember is PFG. Whoops. Crisp challenge there. in the champions he score sheet yeah, I think well on the training ground in the week well we know they pay a lot of attention to set pieces and here's an example unlucky for the team that This is a team and a half, to be honest, and they're running uh, the opposition ragged and a goal to show for it. It's wonderful to see. I mean, they created chances at will, and you don't see that too often. Well, that's what you get when you've got a player with that ability. You can uh, pick one or two players on his own. It was a wonderful breakaway, and what a great finish. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. anyway he's got space able to hold the shot yeah who the hell is that right back then They've lost possession. Javi Garcia. But they're defending for their lives here. Well, they're a goal up. Now they've got a corner here. And he goes for goal with his head. It's a goal from the header. That is textbook from him. They've scored plenty of set pieces this season, and that one was right up there. would shy away from it but full marks for him for trying it Rodrigo Quite rightly, he's disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And the score is 3 0. Holger. It's uh, Puntala. Promising build up. Until that challenge. Oh, he's through. Guides the way the keeper to keep it out. Corner coming up. Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't want to be beaten from there. 
there and he made sure he wasn't spectacularly. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but nevertheless had to keep his eye on the ball. Goes for goal! That's great hands from the goalkeeper to make that kind of save. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. It's their corner. Julian Draxler. attack and they've got a corner well he has a go very good piece of blocking it's a penalty here to take on this responsibility and it showed the way he walked up to it you could just see he was going to score so confident and the score oh, now is Holger. He didn't expect it to be by such a large margin but they've got to make full use of it now and stay professional so we reach half time with a score four well, this first match of the Champions Cup has uh, taken shape in the first half. Second half underway. Yeah, match day one, you always want to get off to a good start. So, still a chance for both teams here. That is very, very weak defending. You can see the confidence that scoring in this game has brought for him. Almost another one here. Yeah, certainly didn't connect as sweetly as he did with the first one, but he's not far off. for a goal kick. Well, that was ambitious, but the ambition very nearly paid off. Save and it's a clean save too. Doesn't drop the ball. Boateng. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. Kevin Prince, Boateng. Well, he's coming off now, and it wasn't the best way of showing how good he is. He's much, much better than he's. Uh, given to his new club here today. He looks a bit lethargic out there, which is a mystery when you think that uh, he's only just arrived at the club. Kevin Prince, Boateng, well, being taken off. It's up to the referee now, whether he's just going to give the free kick and the talking to, maybe. He put it in quickly. The defender dealt with it. Can he turn away from the challenge here? With us. He's worked out where the space is.
He's done well to get it in from that range. I don't think the, uh, the scorer will ever have thought that he was going to get a goal quite like this one. Uh, couldn't really believe his luck. No, and the keeper's going to get some stick in that dressing room afterwards because, well, where on earth was he? between these two teams and it's all uh, irrelevant now it's uh, very one side well there have been a lot of mistakes haven't there from the losing team defensively and they, they've just not turned up so far that's a big call by the assistant the flag has gone up he would have been in for goal yeah it was a wonderful opportunity but uh, looking back on it afterwards they can have no complaints Insignia Struggling now for all their possession. They're so far. Three goal, and that was almost in from Insignia. A goal kick. I'm telling you, if you don't have too much money, I got Insignia for 7.5 million. Napoli asked for nine. And I, my uh, chief executive said I could try to widen the play, really, widen the build up, but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline. Oh, volley! Still going for it here, that was a chance to extend the lead. Julian Draxler. Aogo. Herbides. Wow. Wow, Teo, how did you miss that? <laughs> I'm... I'm speechless. I don't actually know what to say. Fantastically terrible. That's fantastically terrible. Good job, team. And the final margin is 5 0. You don't often get Gaetan's man a match again in this match. So that might be three in a row for him. Good for him. He's getting a lot more uh, noticeable. Maybe someone will. Uh, should I be expecting bids for him in January? I don't know, but I will be preparing for them anyway, whether I should be on the lookout or not. Hey, man, I played in seeing his old club in Napoli and won. St. Benitez, that's why you're. You got put out on your ass because you suck but yeah that's uh that's the end of this video so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and peace and don't forget try on singer he is absolutely amazing 7.5 mil